All right, you guys, so the first thing we do is we go ahead and connect our mini OBD2 to the vehicle, you guys. Okay, make sure that you guys are connected to Wi-Fi or hotspot on your phone. Okay, to make that selection, you go to WLAN connection. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm already connected to, to Wi-Fi. Now we gotta do is go ahead and we gotta match the Bluetooth, okay, of our mini OBD tool. Okay, so on the main menu, go to IMMO programming. We're gonna go to infinity. Okay. Then we're gonna go select from system. We're gonna go to smart. Then we're gonna go to four digit pin, okay? So after you go to four digit pin, you guys, we're gonna go to width slot button type, okay, type four. Now the first thing that we gotta do, you guys, is we gotta read the BCM, okay? All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put ready BCM. Turn on ignition switch, press confirm. Okay, we're gonna press confirm, okay? So there, there's the BCM that it's given us, 049B4, okay? So then we're gonna go to five digit BCM calculator. Okay, we're gonna press yes, make sure that you're connected to online, okay, to the internet. And then we're gonna go ahead and press 49B4, 049B4, we're gonna press okay. Upload data successfully, okay? So you have to be online, you guys. Okay, so you guys see the old password, 8555? That's gonna be our, our pin code, 8555. So we're gonna go to unlock steering, okay? First, before anything else, we're gonna go to unlock steering. We're gonna press, we're gonna put in our code that we got. 8555, we're gonna press okay. Please turn off ignition, yes, it's off. Okay. So once the unlock steering is unlocked, it doesn't do it anymore. It's gonna tell you fell, but you're gonna hear like a little click right here, like, like something from the cluster turner right there, okay? So let it just do its thing right now. It's gonna tell you unlock steering successful. If it tells you fell, um, you're either putting in the wrong password, okay? So it's gonna be the old password. We unlocked it already, so now we're gonna go to match smart key. Okay, function must be performed. We already released the steering lock. Yes, please enter the key and turn the ignition on. Okay, we entered our key inside the slot. Now we're gonna turn the ignition on. Okay, we're gonna press okay. Okay, that's our password 8555. We're gonna press okay. It's configuring system. Please follow the directions below. Turn off the ignition and remove the key. Enter and turn the ignition switch on, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition off. We're gonna remove the key. And we're gonna enter it again. And we're gonna turn the switch on, okay? Our mobilizer light should turn off. Perfect. That means that our key has been programmed, um, programmed successfully, okay? So we're gonna press okay. Now we're gonna try out our key and make sure that it works perfect. Okay, let's take it out of here. Turn our ignition switch off. Open and close our door. Okay, let's go ahead and press the ignition switch again. Okay. Keys off already, you guys. Perfect. And our key has been successfully programmed, you guys. Okay. It's really easy like that, you guys. Just make sure that everything works on the key. Okay. This key, I got it from um from eBay, but it doesn't wanna. Doesn't want to work. Maybe it doesn't have a battery on there, but as you guys can see, it programmed it successfully. Okay. 
go ahead and put a battery down here. Okay, you guys, so luckily I bring some cheap eBay batteries with me, you guys. So luckily I had these on me. I went ahead and I changed the battery. The remote is self-programmable, you guys. Once you guys program the key, the remote programs itself too, okay? So just make sure that works, you guys, okay? As you guys can see, it works. Okay, um, type four, you guys, you can turn it on. When you do when you do type four, you can turn it on like this without putting it inside the slot. Type three, if you program it, you're gonna have to put the key inside the slot, you guys, okay? But now, um, since it has a battery and the remote's good, now you can just go ahead and turn it, turn it on just by having the proximity inside, you know? So thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more information, you guys. Okay. Email me, L-I-L-R-O-X-X-001 at yahoo.com, okay? Till next time, you guys. Take care. Might as well update my my thing now that I'm here, right? Okay, you guys, so today I was able to clone a uh, camera key for 2020. Okay, year 2020. I ended up uh, doing online calculation, as you guys can see. Toyota H8A online calculation. I had to do it twice, though, you guys. I actually... Um, I actually had to take the VVD chip and put it in the bigger coil, not the small one. I, I didn't think it picked it up that good. So I actually had to clone it twice. Uh, the first time it didn't work. I ended up making the customer two keys. Um, I had to, like I said, I had to clone it twice and do the online calculation. By the second time, it ended up, it ended up um, cloning the, the first key. Um, so after I got this, I, after I got the first key clone, I ended up cloning the clone. So if you guys catch my drift right here, I cloned the I cloned the original key, then I cloned the clone. Okay, and that ended up help, helping me out, and the car started. Um, I ended up programming the remote with my Auto Pro Pad, but if you guys try to program the remote with the Max Key Tool, make sure that you select Type Two. Okay. Okay, so if you guys are trying to program the remote, we will go to IMMO programming. Then we will go down to Toyota. Okay. Then we will select by type, okay, you guys? After we do select by type, we will go to remote system, okay? And then we will go to type two, okay? And then we will just press start. And then of course, you must be connected to the internet. And then as soon as as soon as it goes into programming mode, it's going to tell you to press the lock and unlock button. And then you're going to press the unlock button, okay? And it should beep. The car should beep telling you that the remote has been programmed, okay?